Hi, I'm Janelle Shires, Youth and Family Program Director here at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle. Thanks for finding us. These videos are for all of you adults at home who may not be able to come to our center just for scheduling or that you're too far away. So we've been doing an interfaith curriculum called Golden Truth of Threads. And we also have in-person Sundays at 11 that you're more than welcome to come join in also for kindergarten and up. This summer, we have been doing the eight secrets to happiness. So this week is called Fear Not. And really it talks about when we are seeking approval of others, we're moving away from our purpose. So all of you wise family and friends, you're the ones who feed the strengths of those that you love and support. And that's what we really want our youth to know is that people might be judging us, but if you're a true friend or a true family member, you'll help strengthen their resolve. So I've got a story for you today and I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's about the people who live in glass houses. Well, there was this family they bought a house right in the center of this village, up on a hill, and it was made of glass. And they would sit all day and watch the villagers. Like the mom would say, oh, look at that woman. She's not comforting her baby. Or the dad would say, oh, my goodness, the storefront owner has such a messy front area. Or the girl in the house would say, look at that girl down there flirting with all the boys. And the boy was noticing other things and making judgments. Well, they forgot that even though they could see out, they also were being looked at themselves. Well, the villagers had enough of it. And they all got together and they walked up to that house. And they said, you do not judge others if you do not want to be judged yourself because they could see the dad sitting around doing nothing, the mom's messy house, the kids just playing their games all day, doing nothing. And it was because they didn't have their purpose. They didn't have a love or compassion. So that is a good reminder for us that we need to think about what we're seeing and what we want to be have. So why do you think that the family would sit and judge others? They didn't have anything they loved, that no purpose. So they didn't know what else to do. And how would it feel to be a villager? I don't think I'd really like that, having people just stare at me all day being judged. And how does this relate to our cause and effect? Because what we spend our time on also can come back for us. A way that you can demonstrate this with your younger children is a little craft. I have just a little plastic drinking glass. You could use a canning jar or a vase or just a regular drinking glass. But I drew a picture of a person and you could draw a whole bunch of people and put them in their own. But this is just a reminder of that glass house where you can see through and it's also being looked out. And with your older youth, it's really interesting to go back even to perhaps your grade school, middle school, high school annuals and look at how things have changed over time of what we may have in the past considered good or bad and get on the computer, look at how um, fashions or trends have changed in the art world through over the years because we may look at a picture of me in middle school and go, oh my gosh, and think now of how different that is where children these days would never wear those clothes or have that hairstyle. So it's a good way for you to remember that you have different um, judgments on how things are and trying to get away from thinking of what is good and what is bad. We also have a great quote by Terry Cole Whitaker of what you think of me is none of my business. And that's a really important one, especially with the school year starting, where your children have to really remember that other people are viewing them through their own lens of experience. 
And the important thing is how you view yourself. So I thank you for joining me. Leave me some comments below. I like reading them, hear what you think. And you can contact me. My information is also down below, Janelle S at spiritualliving.org. And thanks for joining in.